Hello, this is Sammy. I have a question. The question is a square floor plan with a smaller square area for a pool for pool. The floor has an area of 21 square meters and a perimeter of 24 meters. Find the dimensions of the floor and area for the pool. Okay, so we need to draw a picture of what we have. Okay, so we have a big square with dimensions of X by X, and then we have a smaller square for the pool. Um, which will give dimensions y by y. Okay, so to find the uh, area of the floor, it would be x times x or x squared, and then the area for the pool would be y times y, which is y squared. Okay, so this area that's given to us is actually this whole area right here. And to find that area, we have to take the area of the, the floor, the big square, okay, which is x squared, and subtract it from the small square, okay, which is not there which is the y squared. So it'd be x squared minus y squared equals 21. Okay, now we need to find the perimeter around this shape. So it'd be x plus x plus x, okay, which is 3x. And then we have y plus y plus y, which is 3y. So we've done this side, this side, this side, okay. And then these three sides right here. But this side right here, it's actually, all of this is x, but we have to subtract this y because it's, it's not there. So it'd be plus X minus Y. And that would be equal to 24 meters. That's the perimeter around this whole shape. So we combine like terms. You have 3X plus X is 4X. 3Y minus Y is 2Y and equal 24. Everything here is divisible by 2. So we'll divide everything by 2. We'll get um, 2Y, 2X plus Y equals 12. Then we'll subtract 2X from both sides. We'll get y equals 12 minus 2x, and that's that's the equation, okay, uh, of this. Now, we'll take this equation, okay, we, the y, and we're going to substitute it in, in the right here, okay? So this 12 minus 2x will get substituted right there. So we'll have um, x squared minus parentheses, this 12 minus 2x squared uh, equals 21. Now, we need to expand this, okay? So we'll, we'll have to, we'll do, that's going to be a 12 squared, which is 144. Then it's 12 times negative 2x times 2, which is negative 48x. And then we take negative 2x and square that, and that'd be 4x squared. All that in parentheses is equal to 21. Then we need to distribute the negative sign to each of the three terms here. So we'll get minus 144, minus times minus is a positive 48 minus times a plus is a negative 4x squared equals 21. Then we need to subtract 21 from both sides, okay? And then we need to combine like terms. So we have x squared here and minus 4x squared, that's minus 3x squared uh, plus 48x. And then what, one minus 144 minus 21 is minus 165 equals zero. So now we have a quadratic equation. Now we want it to be, in, we want just x in the front, and we see that the three numbers here are divisible by negative three, so we'll divide everything by negative three. So negative three x squared divided by negative three is x squared. Uh, 48 x divided by minus three is minus 16 x. Minus 165 divided by uh, negative three is positive 55 is equal to zero. Okay, and then we need the factor. Okay, so we have to find two numbers that. Uh, Add to negative 16 and, and multiply to get negative. Uh, add to negative 16 and multiply to give positive 55. So those would be negative 11 and negative 5. So negative 11 plus negative 5 is negative 16. Negative 11 times negative 5 is positive 55. So x equals uh, 11 and x equals 5. Okay. Now we need to find the dimensions of the floor and the area for the pool. Okay. So. We found the the um, the uh, the x value. So we're going to try it. We're going to try the x equals 11. We're going to plug it into this equation right here. So we have y equals 12 minus 2 times 11, which is a negative 10. Negative 10 is not good because uh, you cannot have a negative dimension. So this uh, x equals 11 and y equals negative 10, no good. This is not no good. Can't have this answer. Let's try the other x value. X equals 5. We'll plug it into here. We're going to get a positive 2. So that's good. So x equals 5 and y equals 2. Okay. So to find the floor area, it's equal to x squared, which is uh, 5 meters squared, which is 25 meters squared. So it's 5 meters by 5 meters. That's the dimension of the floor. And then for the pool, it's y squared, which is equal to um, the, the two, so two meters squared is four meters squared, and it's two meters by two meters. And that's your answer. Have a good day.